I want to talk to you uh, about some fog. Yeah. Uh, we've got a great story on this. I know it's a gorgeous, sunny winter day across North Texas today, but sometimes the morning commute can be hampered by fog. Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett explaining today's Weather 101 and some science stuff. We are no stranger here to fog in North Texas, and at times, Reunion Tower barely visible as we see the fog move through. Same thing in downtown Fort Worth, and there have been a number of times that our Texas weather experts have talked about dense fog advisories and even some problems on the roadways. Well, and in, in, in Denton, one of those areas that you're pointing out those visibility concerns, you can see that fog pretty clearly. This is from the 35E, 35W Textot Cam, and that fog is definitely present this morning, so it will lead to you not being able to see quite as far out on the roadways this morning. One of the most common types of fog that we have here in North Texas is radiation fog. So let's break down the science of how that happens. When we have the heat leaving the ground, that daytime heat leaving the ground, mainly with a clear night and light winds, that's when we have the best setup for radiational fog, where we have that radiational cooling. So there's a thin layer of moisture underneath some dry air, and the rising air from the surface passes quickly through that moist layer. So the dry air a little bit further up and a little bit warmer as well. So the moist layer does not absorb much heat, and the air near the surface it cools quicker. So as that is continuing to rise on up, we start to then see the fog developing because as the moisture rises, the water turns into vapor. And then the fog forms. And at times, our visibility here in North Texas can drop down to a mile or less, causing some problems on the roadways as you head on out. So, the next time you see some fog in there, you think about do we have clear skies? Do we have light winds? Yep, we might have radiation fog. Always learning something new. I know, isn't that great? Yeah. Uh, so, a dense fog advisor, you hear us talk about those. Yeah. Uh, that's when visibility gets down to a quarter mile, or they think it's going to, so they will issue an advisory. But keep in mind, it it's this month. It's December and January, our foggiest months of the year. So, you know, it's a problem, especially in the morning. In mind. Yeah, it's a scary thing also trying to navigate through all right. that. <laughs> well, I tell you, the, you can get fog where you, all of a sudden you, you go into a fog bank along the interstate yeah. because there's just a river under it. You probably don't even realize that because it's just a bridge. Mm. It's level with the ground, and suddenly you're in a fog. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that can get really scary. Right? It can.